welcome aboard the Excalibur, Commissioner. It must be quite a change from Ander and its fleet. No offense intended, it's just our ships are configured differently. Indeed it is. I wouldn't mind doing a tour on her myself. The young woman sitting by you is Gina Jones. At 19, she is one of the youngest ensigns ever to get a position on a starship. She will be leading the cadets during their training. Welcome Gina. Thank you Captain. This is quite an honor. When do the cadets come on board? My executive officer Misty Dean is in charge of those details. I believe that we are having one more guest aboard as well. Misty. The cadets should be beaming aboard right now as a matter of fact. We also have a young guest. She is 11 years old and suffering a type of anemia that we have never seen before. This ship has some of the most advanced science labs in the galaxy so the doctor will have something to work on while we train the cadets. We have surveyed from space four planets for the cadets to practice away missions on. We should have found relatively benign worlds, Gina, but there is no guarantee of that. This is Starfleet and the dangers are inherent. We will be isolated for about a week and a half as communications don't work well in that sector of space. Good luck everyone. Will I be alright? Can you help me? We are doing everything we can. We have not seen a disease like this before but we are working on it. I am Misty, the executive officer of this ship. You have been brought aboard the Excalibur because she has superior science labs. We'll find out what is wrong and cure you. Captain Noel, all of your guests should be on board by now. Your young passenger needs to go to Starbase 22, but take your time. Use Excalibur's science labs to try to find out what is going on with her. It will be good training for your cadets. The Andorian Commissioner is headed back to Ander, but has asked permission to observe our training techniques. He likewise is in no hurry. You will be out of contact for a while. Did you pick out some good planets? Yes I did Admiral. We will keep the cadets busy. Two of them are flying the ship right now. Excellent. You are cleared to leave orbit, and assume your mission. As soon as you are ready, Captain. All decks report ready for warp drive. Engineering reports ready for warp 5, or better. Navigation, set course for our ordered coordinates. Helm, all ahead warp 5. Engineering calling captain. They want to discuss the warp drive. The engineer is on his way to the bridge. Captain, I would like to take the warp drive down to a small number of injectors. It is for cleaning and maintenance purposes. I will still be able to give you warp one. You picked a poor time engineer, with our training cadets. Just think of it as a training opportunity. We can show them a lot about warp engines. Planet dead ahead captain. We are at impulse. All scans show normal activity. Call Ensign Gina Jones to the bridge. Captain you wanted to see me? Take over the center seat. We will be watching you all the time. Here is your chance to display your command skills. If anything goes wrong, I will step in. Standard approach to the planet. Assume standard orbit. Science officer. Report on surface conditions. This planet has been nicknamed Jurassic 1 due to the primitive conditions on the planet. There is no known intelligent life form. We will form a landing party. Full weapons and analytical equipment. Okay we are going to be taking several antimatter injectors down, and then we will be cleaning them. It is a process that takes some time. We need to walk these cadets through this. We are going to do an examination on this volunteer and then do a mock treatment. Pay attention cadet.
Doctor. I don't understand. She is really in a coma. What is happening? Doctor? Nurse? Call a medical team to the bridge. Captain to the bridge. I am not getting any response. No one is answering. I am trying everywhere. I have called you all here because I am the only member of the crew that is left conscious, and I am brand new to this ship. I need recommendations. We are limited to warp one at best because engineering was doing engine maintenance at the time the crew fainted. Running out of here should be our last option. None of us are trained doctors but we need to find out what has happened to the crew. I suggest that we start in sick bay. We need to test ourselves, the small girl and the end Orion in addition to the crew. We need to know why we have not fainted. I will assume the bridge. Pool your resources in examining the subjects. Computer, breakdown of subjects physical parameters. Are there any abnormalities? Subject is in typical health and shape for his age. Stress from recent events is indicated. Still nothing. Everything looks good. Now we will try the crew and the small girl. Thank you for providing the sample, Danielle. It will help us a lot. Keep in touch. Don't wander the ship alone. We have found nothing. Their respiration is slow and they appear to be in some kind of hibernation. There is a slight variation in the radiation that every human body gives off. That's all. Do you think it is something contagious? I want to form a landing party. I don't see how it could be a contagion. As near as we can tell, it is not something that we can catch. I think we need to look at environmental conditions or other problems. Can we rule out an alien attack of some kind? Maybe aliens used some kind of weapon to paralyze most of the crew. No there is no evidence that we were attacked. This appears to be an unknown problem. I would recommend going ahead with a landing party. I agree with Lizzie. There is nothing that we can find here. It has to do with one of the planets. 
I think we should go down there immediately. We will set up for a landing party, but I don't know what we can find. The plants here are dangerous. Everyone be careful. Report on landing party mission. What did you find out? Nothing, and we lost one of our own. The plants down there are fierce killers. What is our next assignment? Something safer I hope. Indy 1 is our destination. It is known to have a primitive civilization on it. Apparently, they are not trying to advance. We will set a course. It will take a couple of hours at warp 1. <laughs> Human, I did not mean to eavesdrop. You have got to hold things together. You need to find out what happened and find a solution. But the plants ate one of the cadets. They ate him. I can't do this. You have to human. I can't help you much. Back on and oh, I am a bureaucrat. I know nothing about your ship. Maybe you could help out in a landing party. I could use the extra help. The planet we are orbiting seems fairly benign. It will be an honor, human. I will join the cadets on the surface. We need to get him to the ship, humans. I am not subject to your prime directive. <laughs> 